when I was a kid, the Super Nintendo was the video game console, and one of my memories of playing the Super Nintendo was playing the game Maximum Carnage, which was when I was introduced to the character of Carnage and how much of a badass he was. So much so that Venom and Spider-Man had to team up together to take this guy down. Now that is crazy. What is going on Draw2 Crew? Ramna here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw Carnage from the comic books. Before we begin, if you are brand new to this channel, welcome here. I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, video games, comic books, books, etc. So if you guys like what you see, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are notified anytime we upload a brand new tutorial video. With the Venom movie coming out this week, I thought I would finally do one of the characters that you guys have been requesting for for a really, really long time, and that is Carnage. And I thought of doing Carnage instead of the symbiotes that appear in the Venom movie, because to be honest with you guys, those symbiotes that appear in the trailer for the Venom movie, especially Riot, look so much like Venom anyway, that to draw it is very redundant. So I thought of choosing a different symbiote, one that looks more distinct and unique compared to the Venom symbiote, and one that is more well-known and was requested for a long time. That's why I'm choosing Carnage. Are you guys ready to draw here? Are the tools that you are going to need for this tutorial, if you want more information about my art tools, I have a list that you can check out in the description of this video. Again, you guys, there are three things that you need to keep in mind as you're watching this tutorial. If you're a subscriber, you already know the drill. If not, pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin. Having said all of that, you guys grab your drawing tools. Let's get to drawing Carnage. All right, you guys, let's get started with our Carnage tutorial. I've got my paper in landscape mode and I'm gonna be drawing him kind of just up to like the torso. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to draw a circle kind of almost in the center of my paper here. And I'm going to draw it like this. Almost, almost an oval. So it's not a perfect circle, just like that. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna draw this line right here, right now. So you see, you notice how it sort of looks like a letter Q where this is the center line that goes kind of slanted going down at this angle right here. Okay, so with Carnage, I'm gonna bring this and this kind of close like this. So it almost sort of looks like a balloon. I'm gonna close it there. Okay, so that's gonna be the top of the face. And then the bottom of the face is gonna be down here. So I'm gonna draw a line up to here. And this is gonna act as kind of like the jaw part, actually right here. Here's the jaw, little jaw area. And then I'm gonna bring this down and this even lower like this. And I'm gonna create this jaw kind of right here. And you notice that the jaw is kind of pretty skinny. And that's sort of part of Carnage's look is he's got a very elongated face with a really skinny jaw. It's almost like if you were to draw the Joker uh, in Batman, the bad guy in Batman, uh, he's got a very similar, very skinny looking jaw. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm sort of creating a bit of a bump right here in the back, not too prominent. I just want to make it so that here it's a little bit curvier and here you got this bump in the upper uh, part of the head. Okay, always you want to maintain that roundness as well. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm going to draw the neck going down sort of like this. And then from here, that almost goes across like that. This is going to be the uh, trapezius muscle. That's going to be the shoulder, shoulder there and then the shoulder down right around here. Okay, so you guys can sort of already see, if I were to draw a line right here, you can see where the jaw is, where the eyes are gonna be, and here are the shoulders, right here. Okay, let me draw a line going across this way to this way, and pay close attention to the angle of this line right here. So you notice that it's slanted this far up, okay? So he's sort of looking down. And there you go. So this is a smaller line than this one here. At this point, I'm gonna draw an oval. It's gonna be for the shoulder. And at this point, I'm gonna round this off. This is gonna be for the chest. And then I guess just find that chest go across like this. Now, Cletus Cassidy, the guy who, uh, who embodies the Carnage outfit is a skinny guy compared to uh, Venom. So we're not gonna draw him big and bulky. We're gonna draw him kind of slim, kind of, 
cut, I guess you can say. Okay, so there you go. There's the chest line right there. I'm gonna draw from here, half circle, that's going to be the shoulder right there. Okay, so now we're going to draw the rib cage, and the rib cage just goes right here. And then from the armpit area, we're gonna bring this down like this. Okay, so what you wanna do with the rib cage, find the center. The center of the chest is kinda gonna be from the chin going down and then curves like this. Okay, so the body's gonna curve. Okay, so here's the rib cage and you wanna bring that up this way and then down and then like that. Okay, so there you go. And then here's the abdominal muscle here. It goes like this. Not quite the abdominal muscle that's like more of the side here and then sort of goes like this so imagine this sort of just goes towards the center and then the, this kind of follows the curve of the body now and there you go all right and then over here you don't want to draw a waist that's too narrow of course this is too narrow right here so what you want to do is you want to create a not so narrow body like that okay and then for the most part, I'm only going to draw it up to there and here. So I'm going to leave Carnage pretty much just to there, the torso. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'm not going to continue drawing the legs or the thighs. All right. So now let's go over here. Let's draw the bicep. The bicep goes from here, goes out. Think of it as coming out like a teardrop almost. So it sort of creates this teardrop shape right here. And what you want to do is you want this to go this way and then it comes out like this, okay? And then over here, you want to do something similar. You want to create a teardrop shape coming from the armpit area. It goes out this way, it goes like that. Okay, and then you want this one to go down at an angle like this. Okay, so there you go. Actually, let's change that, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the forearm and the forearm wide right here, and it gets narrow as you go towards the wrist, and I'm gonna draw the wrist right around here. Okay, so if I were to draw this like an actual arm, I'm gonna draw a bit of the tricep right here. Here's the bicep muscle. Forearm there. So there's our carnage, <laughs> carnage arm right there. It's not muscular, but it's very lean. Okay, there you go. And then over here, this goes out this way. And this goes down like this. Okay, so it's wide at that part, and then it starts to get narrow like this. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into an axe. Okay, so he's very, uh, Carnage is known for turning his appendages into weapons. And so I'm, let me make this, you know what, let me make it even longer like this, abnormally long, and then it starts to spread out, and then Let's draw an X shape right here. So let me just shape out how I want that X to look. There you go. And you guys can shape your X any way that you want. Uh, for me, it's the one that sort of looks like a sickle that looks like this. So I think I prefer that. Prefer that look right here, just like that. And it sort of goes into the body like this. And then I'm gonna have the tendrils sort of come out of here as well. So I'm not gonna worry about this just yet. There you go. Okay, so there's one of Carnage's arms, it's an X. And then now on this side, here's what I'm going to do. Let me zoom in slightly. And right here, I'm gonna draw a circle like this. That's gonna be like this fatty part of the thumb there. Okay, right here. This goes straight. Okay, now this goes this way. And then I'm sort of making the two lines like this that make a point and then bring that, bring that in like this. 
Okay, so that's what that looks like right there. Okay, so now let me draw the individual fingers like this. One, two, three, and four. And of course the thumb, I'm gonna draw the thumb coming out like an oval almost like that, okay? So oval, and then that goes in to the hand like this. Okay, that looks kind of weird, but we're not finished. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create claws out of the fingers. And the way that I do it, I'm going to create like this bump in the back of it as well. And it comes out like that. Okay, so they almost look like talons. Okay, right here at the tip. Like this, and then bring that back like that. Okay, same thing here, pretty much covers the Just like that. And then over here, goes like this. Okay, so there you go. We've got, let me make that a little bit smaller because it's the pinky. There's our hand right there. And we can actually even extend this a little bit longer so that it looks like he's got like these Wolverine-like points coming out as well. There you go. I might actually extend this um, when I start inking it, I might actually extend this and make like a, uh, a longer version of this. I might do that. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So there you go. There is our initial drawing of carnage. Now I'm going to grab a new pencil and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to start working on, you know, the details of it. There's going to be a lot of like the black elements. I like to think of it as like black ink that sort of moves around. And then of course the tendrils that come out of carnage. So let me zoom in on the face and let's start there. Okay, there you go. So I've got this line right here. This is going to be the center of carnage's face right there. I'm going to draw two lines here and here. Okay, on opposite sides of this center line. So it goes like that. Okay, so now what you want to do with this one is go all the way up to this point right here. Okay, so it goes in a curve like this. Okay, now this one goes down to this point here. Okay, and then round this off. There you go. Okay, we do the same thing on this side, except that this point goes up like that to the edge. Bring this down like this and make sure that these two are sort of aligned together. Make sure these two are aligned together. Okay, and then this bring to the edge like that. So there you go. There's our carnage face. Of course, we're not quite done with it just yet. We do have to add like the black elements to it. Okay, the, the mouth. So you notice, remember this line that we did here. We're going to draw... Um, these up and down lines like this, zigzag lines to indicate, um, I guess you could call teeth, but they're black. And think of it as like a, when you carve a pumpkin for Halloween, this is what it looks like. Okay. So, so I'm just creating like these lines going up and down all the way to almost the edge here. Okay, so there's our head right there. Okay, for the eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase part of this curve right here. And then I'm going to create these kind of, it looks like it got bitten. So here's, if you, if you imagine this is what the curve looks like, you want to create like these holes, I guess you could say, like, like that. Can you imagine it being like bitten by... Uh, someone might think of it as like a, a donut that got bitten or something like that. So there you go. And then black lines in the center. And there. Okay, now in the middle of the head, I'm going to sort of create these pockets of dark that look like that. 
think of it as like this fluid motion or fluid inky like substance and being very random with it there you go but essentially it just this right here is black and it's got these tendrils that's what i'll call these things that come out that sort of try to engulf the head okay and this part right here is all dark colors this part right here is all black as well okay so there you go there's carnage's head right there you got elements of red right here being engulfed by elements of black okay so there you go and pretty much the whole of the body is going to be similar to that right there so you want to keep keep that in mind when you start drawing these lines right here uh, think of it as like elements of the black um, just sort of trying to engulf the whole body okay so I'm gonna start right here I'm gonna draw one major one and then that goes like that so think of it as always this organic looking thing that like that and it's it's kind of hard for me to describe or even do tutorial on it but it's it's just these black tendrils that just come out or just this black glob of whatnot just coming out and sometimes they form a web and sometimes they create like tr like tree roots or lightning you know, it creates that kind of uh, effect as well. Okay, so here's one chest. Just like that, and then I'm gonna draw another one like this. Okay, and then, so what I'm doing is like, I'm creating the, these large elements first, like this, and then I'm going to cover up each white area with some black uh some of that black that just sort of webs around and forms like this okay and i'll probably be using a lot of ink in this process but that's fine there you go and don't forget there's also elements of spots of black as well so black spots there okay so I'm gonna do that for each muscle group here's the other chest and I'll kind of try to do something similar being very random with uh, these things actually you want this center part to be thick right here because this is sort of in uh, the traditional way that people draw carnage the majority of the black area is kind of like right in the center of his body. Okay, and then just keep going. And now, once you get used to it, um, just know that you, this is what you're going to be doing for the rest of the body. So you just take, uh, take the body, isolate it into different chunks, like what I did with the chest here, and then just slowly work your way to create like these details in the body. And you can go as crazy as you want with it, actually. There's no rules or anything here. It's just, you'll know it when it's right, right? You'll know it when it looks like carnage. Okay, so there's that section I'm isolating. And then here's one section right here that I'm going to isolate as well. Okay, just right here, I'm going to isolate this part here. So I'm dividing them up essentially, and I'm going to be using up a lot of pencils for this, so make sure you grab a bunch of pencils. Okay, so let's do this part now. Dark in the center area, so here it's going to be a little dark. go 
So in essence, once we're done, and my drawing should be different than yours, should be different than the next person's. Because none of us would be, um, if we did this independently, none, none of us would be drawing these the exact same. There you go. Okay, this part right here, I'm going to think of it as abdominal muscles. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this line like this. Let me zoom out slightly. I'm almost out of frame there. Good thing I caught it beforehand. There you go. Okay, this goes in like this. And then this one I'm going to draw for it to go here. Now imagine these as being like abdominal muscles. Okay. I'm going to take each abdominal muscle. Same pattern. And I suggest you guys, if you have ink pens, Carnage is a great character to do inking on. Just because it's it's got like these crazy elements of black and red. Okay, now this one here. And here. Do so you notice I'm making thick ones and thin ones? and some that vary in size and it gets wider or narrower. It starts to look a little messy, but you know, when you get to the inking stage, you can easily clean that up. There you go and just keep working at it, you guys. Now I'm going to work on this section here. A lot, a lot of this is knowing how to do the lines. If you are familiar with how muscles run in the body, it sort of gives you a good guideline of how to best put these lines down. There you go. gonna leave it like that you guys and then I'm not gonna bother with the crotch or anything so there you go there's our carnage now I'm going to work on this arm and I'm going to do the same thing starting with the shoulder up at the top okay again if you know where the muscles go if you know how muscle fiber runs along in the body then you kind of use that as a guideline to draw these lines. Okay, now I'm doing the bicep here. Okay. And then now the forearm. Just take some getting used to. And the forearm's going to be mainly going up and down. It sort of follows the grain of the muscle. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go on this, uh, this right here again, same thing, find those muscles.
Don't forget those circular elements right here. I'm just going to randomly place them. Okay. Now the bicep, have it run down the bicep like this. Okay, and then the forearm now. The cool thing about this is that you can, can't really go wrong. And if you make a mistake, you can easily just cover it up. Again, over here, it goes up and down the forearm as opposed to going across the forearm like this. Okay, and then right here, you guys, before I get to the axe, I'm going to darken the wrist and then I'm going to make the axe almost blackish. Okay, so let's get to the axe part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bunch of tendrils or these lines that stick out like this to sort of form the base of the axe. And much like we did with Venom's face, it goes wide and it gets narrow and then goes wide again. Okay, so wide here goes narrow and then gets wide over here. So think of it as like these little grains that spread out and then becomes like the axe. Okay, and then I'm gonna make the axe. I'm gonna make the axe spiky. I'm gonna have it go like this. Of course, it's also smooth, so you got the curves. Okay, just like that. Let's see if I can make this narrower fast. There you go. Okay, maybe right here, what I'm going to do is gonna have it come out, it goes in and then like that. So it's got this curve right here. Maybe in another one over here that just goes like this. Okay, and then right here, maybe like a little oval there similar to what we did with the eyes, similar to what we did over here, what we're doing over here. Okay, and then it goes narrow. Ah, there you are. And this right here, Okay, so this whole thing is black. I'm gonna create the blade. So imagine the blade kind of going like this, where it sort of becomes sharp. There's a sharp part of the blade here. Think of it as a knife. There's like this part of the knife where it's sharpened, or like a sword, right? So it looks like that. And then here, goes to the point. And then imagine the black, this is gonna be all black right here. And then it comes out, starts to spread like tree roots. Okay, like this. And it reaches the edge like that. So I'm not quite sure how to describe it. Think of it as just like, yeah, roots or lightning or something where it goes like this, you got that and then Got little elements that come out like this as well, like this, and even smaller ones. So for this, you can't really go wrong. You can go as detailed as you want. You can go as crazy as you want either, or, uh, as well, like or as simple. There you 
go. There you go. Now let's go over here and this is the last part that we're doing and then we'll do the tendrils on our carnage here and essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to create like a light and dark part on each finger. Like that. Let me grab another sharp pencil. There. And then the same thing over here. Oh, forgot. Let's add some sharp claws to the thumb here. Draw like the lines of the palm in the same style as we've been doing the body here. And then let's just sharpen this little tendril that's coming out here. And the same thing with this one. There you go. So zooming out, you guys, we can leave our carnage drawing here. If you guys want to leave it like this, then that's good. You guys can go ahead and ink it for that, you know, crazy carnage effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue by adding tendrils. Those are the like the goopy things that come out of the body here. And I'm going to start right here. And before I thicken it, I'm just going to sort of map out how I want that tendril to to look and it comes out and it gets narrow. Think of it as like being stretched out, it gets narrow and then it gets wide again like this. Okay. So there's our first tendril right there. And when you're, when you're coloring it, just give parts of it in elements of the red and parts of it in elements of black. You guys will, uh, if you download my, my, my tutorial, my drawing coloring page of this, then you'll kind of see how I, uh, how I inked this and that'll give you a better idea of what I mean. And now I'm going to have this one sort of go up and it goes around here, snakes around and then I'll make it go out this way. There you go. So it's like two headed it goes behind and then front over here and then behind here and the front over here and then behind and the front and the back and this one would make in the front. There you go. So now you can go as crazy as you want with these. Um, start with the head here in the head part. Sometimes you've got like these rounded heads, rounded tips, and sometimes you have these sharp tips. There you go, I made that one sharp. And these tendrils also have tendrils that come out of them, like that. There you go. And I'm just going to randomly draw these now and I suggest you guys just like watch what I do and then pause the video and then try to do some some similar similar effect where you're you choose a spot and you decide the curves and you try to do it all yourself okay I'll make this one kind of go up
and you guys notice that I'm, I'm going to create these spots as well. It's almost like blood spatter or just the tendril sort of creates like these whenever every, each time it stretches and, 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 and goes back together, it sort of leaves like these ink spots, you know? Okay. And then here, again, wider at the bottom. And then here you sort of vary in, in wideness. Sometimes it's narrow, sometimes it's thick. There you go. And then lastly, I'm probably going to try to do one here. here maybe just to even it out and add something to the back Don't forget to do some little ones as well. And that's it, you guys. There is our carnage um, with tendrils and all. Again, you can go with as much detail as you want with this drawing or as little detail as you want. It's kind of up to you. It's one of those things where, you know, Carnage is one of those characters with uh, a lot of detail or a simple detail because his costume, his look is very dynamic. So there you go, you guys. There is how you draw Carnage from, uh, from the comics. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, take care. Thanks for watching. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of the pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe. All of that 
in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description. So always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.